Good morning. Nene Leaks is in. Hey, Nene. Hi. How you doing? Yes. Hi. It's on. You ain't gonna hear yourself. We just gonna be talking. How are you? Good morning. I'm like a ten inch hill. Do you not see it? Damn. I'm only 5'10". I'm 5'10". I told you. I'm 5'10". We're the same height. Oh, oh okay. I, yeah, we fit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we fit? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Here's some cute pictures of you. Put one of these on my bathroom wall. You gonna, what you going on the bathroom wall? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, T? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. You looking hey, good. You, you done got married? Here? No, I ain't get married yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, what? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> How you What's doing? What's your problem, honey? Nothing. I'm picky. Are you are? Yeah, shouldn't mm-hmm. I be? Mm-hmm. But you be looking for big booties and stuff? No, I mean, that, 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 <laughs> that's always an additional pleasure. But uh, that ain't necessarily uh, high on the kidding, priority list. It's not. It, I mean, it's, it's a good thing to have. Don't I get me bet, wrong. I bet, I bet. And you look like you're one of them kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. Glad you made it. Thank you so much. I was so sleepy, so tired. I heard. I haven't seen you at the play. Loving him is coming. I am hosting tonight. You are? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I'm excited. There, I will see you later on as well. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Now, who are you in the play? I play the character Pinky Bell. Okay. Uh, she's a cat woman, and I would have to say that she's probably turned a trick or two here or there. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm alongside. Hi, girl. Hi. I'm alongside um, Angie Stone and Christopher William, Kenny Lattimore, and um, Lenny Williams and Teeny Barino. Hi, Teeny. <laughs> and uh, we're here until Sunday. Yes, we, we are. We have two matinee shows on Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m., and then our night show is at 8. Right next door at the Lincoln Theater. Tickets still available. Yeah, I love the Lincoln Theater. It's very pretty. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Welcome to the DMV. Well, thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Thank you. So I would like for everyone to come out and check me out. You know, I'm giving the best that I got. The best that you got. Yes. <laughs> now, girl, you stay in some headlines. I do stay in headlines. I think they just like to call my name. Yeah, now, what's going on with you and Sherry Shepard? Who's that? <laughs> oh! Me and Sherry has had no problem that I know of. Did uh, we have a problem? Who are you having a problem with? Star Jones, oh, excuse me, say, not Sherry, Sherry Shepard. I was like, oh my God. Just, uh, I ain't want to get you started this morning. Oh, I was like, I didn't know that. What's going on with you and Star Jones? Well, obviously, Star, you guys know that Star and I were on Celebrity Apprentice together. Right. And we started out uh, really cool, but we didn't end up cool. I just personally think that um, Star doesn't know how to be friends. Mm. That's just it. Yeah. And we had difference in opinions, and I'm not that girl who would bag down. I felt like the rest of the girls who were on the show were not willing to confront her on some of the things that she was doing wrong. Okay. And... Um, I, and, you know, I didn't feel the duty. I just felt like, you know, I had enough mm. and I need to just call her out. And, and I did. So now recently, she called you a coon. A coon? A coon. Okay. Why? why would, uh, I don't know why. You would have to ask her. She's the one that's educated. <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, what, do, you, do you have a reply for that? Do you... Uh, you know, I you know everybody has an opinion, and it really doesn't matter what you do. People are gonna have an opinion. They're gonna say whatever they want to say, right. and I'm absolutely okay with that. Just don't get mad when I say what I want to say. Oh, speak it! Right. Right. <laughs> so if you can diss it out, just be ready to take it. Right now, and the, the internet was a fire yesterday. You had a more than interesting interview yesterday morning. Did I? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. That's- I was asleep, uh-huh. and when I woke up to do the interview, and then I went back to sleep, and then I woke up again, everybody was like, you did this interview, and, you know, this is what happened in my opinion. The girl, I don't know who she is. Like, she was... The girl. The girl uh-huh. was trying to come for me, mm. which I'm absolutely okay with. As I said to you a few minutes ago, you can come. Don't get mad when I come. <laughs> so, she come, I come. Right. That's what it is. That's all it was. And I feel like, you know, I've hosted many radio show, morning shows, and I've sat in for a lot of personalities. Right. And I know they like to play the good cop, get bad cop. So I felt like they were doing that to me. And I'm down with that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Russell's on my side. The girls were against me. I know how that go. Uh-huh. But, you know, I'm not really that girl you want to be good cop, bad cop with, though. Because uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a whole mind. Just better hold yours. So, and I think that's just what happened. You know, she was saying her stuff. I said, mine. did you hear it? I heard parts of it. I what heard you parts think? of it on it, and I just thought it was interesting. Well, did you think that you think that um, 
well, what the girl said was something like, "You are you being a like you're a bully on the Celebrity Apprentice. You're a bully on the Housewives." Even Latoya said that you were a bully, and I just was thinking. So was that all that Latoya said? Mm. I get it. So we like to focus on the bad. We never pay attention to the good. Come on, sister, give me something else. Now, now, uh, okay, you are sometimes cast in this light. Mm-hmm. Since the show came out, is mm-hmm. you know you are the bully, you are mm-hmm. the bad girl. Really? You're always pulling some eye card. I mean, really? Yeah, that's what, you know. So that's you are a bu- well, you know what? So you are a that's... bully if you call somebody on their BS. I'm just saying how the, how the, the the perception is. Oh well, I'm all right with the perception. Cool honey. with it. I am, honey. <laughs> I am. You know because I know who I am. Right. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day what anybody else thinks. My family and my friends and those who love me know exactly who I am. They know my heart. They know I'm not a bully. And these people who are working with me on the Loving Him is Killing Me, they absolutely know I don't bully any of them. They bully me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually bully. I actually, you know, I bully uh, one of the characters, uh, Nene. Okay. A little bit. But, um... That's just not my personality. Okay. I really stay to myself. Right. Like, you got to really come over here and check for me. I'm very private, and I just stay to myself. I just do. You can ask these cast. See, y'all worked with me last year. Okay. Child, I'm probably the easiest one on the cast, but you would never know that mm-hmm. because I'm the one that's talking, and the people that are quiet, those are the ones you'd watch out for. Oh, uh, the quiet folks. Ooh, they be causing problems, child. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> So, they be going crazy. How, how many more seasons of, uh, of Housewives do you think you you can do or want to do? I don't know. We're currently filming right now. Mm-hmm. We're filming our fourth season of the Housewives. It is, um, you know, I don't know how many more I can do. Right. How many do? You, how many of these? I don't know if you contractually obligated. I how am. many do you see yourself doing? Before you're no, like, I don't, all right. Mm, I'm all right. I'm tired. You know, I'm tired, and I have a lot of other opportunities on the table, and I would like to take advantage of some of them. But um, I'm a housewife, you know. I'm a housewife. I'm again, once again, I'll be back on this fall right. being a real housewife of Atlanta. Okay, that's what it is. But uh, night through Sunday, I'm working. she'll be next door at Lincoln Theater. I'm working, honey. But we like when you're working. You know, working is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now because there are so many people who aren't working. I have people come to me all the time like, oh, girl, I wish I could. I wish I So I always check myself, you know. Come on, Nene, go to work. Right. Because sometimes, you know, you'd be like, I don't feel like going to work today. I don't want to do it. you think about the people who can't. Yeah, then you get up and be like, oh, let me go and get this check. Yeah, please believe it. Please believe it again. You have to do it. You stay working. You know, I, I man, I keep me you full jobs. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh, I'd have been done had full jobs. Me too. I'm a celebrity apprentice. I'm loving him, killing me. I'm a real housewife of Atlanta. I'm all over. I just and do you, it all. And your post too. Yeah, I hey, do man. as much as I can. I be worn out, but I'm trying. I want to play word association with you. Ready? My head. I don't went balls sitting up here fooling with y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna say a word. Yeah. You say the first thing that comes to mind. Sure. You with me? I am. Housewife. Me. Nice. <laughs> Love. It's a beautiful thing. Marriage. Uh, <laughs> I. It's also a beautiful thing. Okay. When you can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, can be. It can be. Yeah. Coon. Star. (laughs) (laughs) Don't play with me. (laughs) Success. Me. Failure. You. Oh yeah, you and me Uh, too. Like that. Failure. It's not an option. Okay, and last one. I made up a word. What? Like a bunch of words. Something like ghetto. No, no, no. I made up a word. It's called bald-headed monkey with a wig. (laughs) (laughs) I had to put it all into one word. That would be Kim and Star. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know both of them are bald-headed with wigs, honey? You know. You know what? Don't try to play with me. You're trying to get me in trouble. Last one, last one, last one. Nene. Oh, my God. Nene is everything. You know, I am outspoken. Mm. And I don't ever try and change that. I am who I am. Right. I'm outspoken. I have a very big heart. I'm very lovable. Mm. I'm private. Um... I'm about to get this money, dog. Why y'all over here talking that trash? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me one thing about you nobody knows. Um, I don't know that nobody knows. I think people who are around me know I actually have a shy side that some people don't know. Oh, I do. Really? I absolutely do. 
Okay. And um, I don't think that people think that I'm private. I think that people think that I am, you know, like, woo, like, let's go to the club, let's party. I don't okay. club. The only time you see me in the club is when I'm getting a check. Church. Yeah, but I don't club. I'm a restaurant, lounge girl. Um, um, I'm, I'm just really cool. I really am. You like me. Yeah, hi. You know, I saw you. You know, we saw each other. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we know. Saw each other at chills you got we on We saw there. each other at where, where, where were we? Oh, we was at uh, for Sisters Only. No, we weren't. Oh, man, recently? No, Last was year not, when you came no, here? No, I wasn't here. Was I? I was in another state. We were somewhere else. Where there's somewhere. other big convention place that we were that in. Was that was here. That was, was not in D.C. Yes, it no, was. it's where it's where Nelly's from. Where's he from? St. Louis. We were in oh, St. Louis. Yeah, okay. You remember that yeah. event that we did in St. Louis yeah. and you were there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me. Uh -huh. I got a good memory. Is that right? You don't remember? I tell it on the mouth. Okay. <laughs> Nene Leakes is here. each other in St. Louis, y'all. I love you, too. See, these people love me. They do. And they don't really care what Star has to say, right? Because it's not like she has a good reputation. Right, it's not like she has a good reputation or anything. Okay. Do you think she does? A good and what about that other radio show that's here? There is a, there's another radio show? Oh, you know. <laughs> so what did you think about them? I, I, thought, I had a couple of personalities tweeting me and texting me and saying, honey, you read them, baby. I, mean, I think I think they, they, it was, they, they were trying to get you riled up. Weren't they trying? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you see. It, it, did I shut it down? It did what NeNe does. I sure did. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It may be 8 o'clock in the morning, but girl, I am awake. <laughs> hey. Just shut it down now. Because I know they were trying to provoke me. I get it. When you walk into a room, sometimes people have preconceived notions because they've watched you on television or they've heard things that you said, but they don't know who you are. And they don't understand that the show is edited. I don't really, I don't try to go out and talk about the show as edited. People say, Nene, was they, did they edit you? Did they change some of your work? No, I said all that now. <laughs> now, they didn't change any of that, but they didn't show you the things maybe that I said leading up to that. Right. Or maybe they didn't show you what was happening that made me go there. Mm -hmm. But everything I've said, I've said it. And uh, and I don't take it back. Now, I don't take it back. Let me tell you why, because I don't live with regret. Now, I do sometimes say to myself, I wish I could have done something differently. Right. Or maybe I could have used a better choice of words right or maybe my delivery didn't have to be so hard right and maybe i can learn from that but do i regret it no because i can't live with regret because you learn from all those experiences right so everything that ever happened to me i've always learned for it from it mm -hmm. and that's why i am who i am and you're gonna be who you're gonna be that's what i'm gonna do and that's why i'm gonna put this on my bathroom wall why are you gonna put I'm, I'm still trying to understand why my picture is going on your bathroom wall mm -hmm. how do you come out the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go my bathroom wall. Tigger. Tigger. Um, now, now, the finale. The finale is uh, this Sunday. No, no, no. No, it was last Sunday, right? No, uh, what? Celebrity yeah, We have two more weeks. Okay, two we more will weeks. be live in New York City when we do the finale. Okay. And what a lot of people don't understand, too, the Celebrity Apprentice was filmed last year in October. Okay. So people are coming up to me like, girl, last week, honey. I'm like, girl, that did not that happened last year. Okay. And uh, so the magic of television, you guys think that it's happening right now. Right. But the finale will be live okay. in New York on May 22nd. Right. And uh, what you want to know about it? I want to know how you're going to be acting. <laughs> well, you know, when the new year came in, I did this show for Bravo. Uh, we brought in the new year in New York. Mm -hmm. And I made a New Year's resolution. And I said to myself, I'm still going to be who I am. But I'm not going to let anybody take me out of character. That's why those girls on Russ Park can get me out of character. Now, I can shut you down. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to get out of character. Meaning, I don't have to use bad language, and I don't really have to bite your head off for you to get it. They got it, didn't they, yesterday? <laughs> I, and I didn't, did, I, did I use any bad language? No. Nope, I didn't nope, use nope. no bad language. Nope. I was still being true to who I am. Right. And uh, they got it. Amen. Now, so that was my New Year's resolution. I don't want to change that. So far, I've been successful okay. without letting anybody take me out of my character. Nice. And we and, 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 and so, so well, let me just tell you now, what I'm going to do when I get to New York, I'm going to breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Because I realize that I'm going to be sitting by Star and all of these other people mm -hmm. who are going to be in one room together. Right.
doing this for now. Okay. And then we're going to leave from there and go do a party that's happening. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to be cool. you looking nice and fly. I might have some hair by then. Uh, <laughs> about two by weeks. Then. I might get me some weed. Watch out now. Well, yeah. we'll watch that as well as check you out tonight through Sunday next door at Lincoln Theater. Yeah. Loving you going to be there tonight? I'll be there tonight as a whole. Mm, what you going to be wearing? What you want me to wear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> girl. That took us something else, honey. <laughs> you know, Y'all I make mean, some noise for Nene Leaks in the building. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm here with no makeup on, no lip gloss. I got good skin for all y'all who be looking at this. Like, you know, does she have good skin? Does she have hair? This is my hair. Yeah, it's heels, though. Thank you. Oh, I have a 10-inch heel I have on a Louboutin. But, you know, I love heels, and I love Louboutins, and I, I think heels make you look hot and sexy. You see, this is my shoe. Wait till she stand up. Y'all going to be like, damn. <laughs> I always wear hot shoes. My shoe game is sick. Now, if I don't have nothing else on, I'm going to have a bad shoe on, boo. Let me see your shoe. I, I'm comfortable. I'm casual. You're looking good. I like I, a little man. That, mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big old thighs. <laughs> Lord. I want to say thank you to you. Thank you to thank the entire so cast much. of Loving Him is Killing Me. Thank you to Ben's Chili Bowl. Thank you to my PTC promotion staff. Guy Lambert and Julie Wright is down here. Get some noise for Julie Wright and Guy <laughs> Lambert. Uh, <laughs> what's your name? DJ Storm in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you talk to some of the other cast members? Talk to everybody. Oh, that's my dad, um, Junebug. He plays Junebug. Uh, He's my dad in the stage. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm not so... Oh, yeah, don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Oh, loud. To play. No, it's tonight. Hey, they're coming. Hey, they're, they're coming. Uh, also, it's Nay Nay. I, I bully her. Yeah, I heard. You well, honey, me. I do bully her a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with her. Shout out to Chrisette Michelle and Raheem Devon for also stopping by this morning. We had an awesome morning. And you just you brought the you brought the punctuation. Well, I sure appreciate. It. I like to shut it down. Yeah, that's what you, you got. Got some good looking. Hi, Kenny. Look at Kenny. See how cute he is. <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah, you did. Thank you. See how cute he is. See all these nice looking people. And and DC got. Hey, honey, you you live from DC? How are you? Uh, That's freaky tie. Oh, freaky who? <laughs> <laughs> freaky tie. <laughs> hey, freaky. <laughs> I like all that. All these nice looking men up in here, honey. Oh, I know him. He's with us. Hi, honey. Red bones and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no, good morning. Going for eight days messing with Wake you. Wake me up, Listen, honey. I gotta go. You know, I gotta come back so we can stay for a long time. Cause I don't like you shutting me off. You know, uh, but we want to talk for a long time. We got yeah, to talk yeah. So, but uh, hey. get, get up next time. Talk about how you got these big old thighs on <laughs> Thank you, kidding. everybody. Thank you, DC. Come out and see Loving Him is Killing Me. Yes, next door at the link. Oh, there go Lenny. Hi, Lenny. You know yeah, Lenny? Oh, no, yeah, we talked about Lenny. Honey, Lenny Lenny's the problem. Honey, yeah, these women going crazy. <laughs> they love it, honey. Again, the play is next door. I'll be there tonight. Thank you, everybody down here. It's been chill. Thank Bowl. you, guys. 